Welcome back everyone, Sifu Devin Fan, Eight Immortals Wing Chun. Today we're gonna to do a follow-up to the last, uh, to the Wing Chun Basics one. Um, this is more things for you to practice at home, again, taking it back to the basics, okay? So there's gonna be three different components to it. The first component, we're gonna work on a punching drill. It's very, very simple for you to follow. So the first thing you're gonna do um, is get into your basic stance. So we're gonna do this one square. Uh, so the Yishi Kemi Ma stance. Uh, so your feet, can't see my feet, but they're side by side uh, here instead of one forward, one backward, okay? So this one we're starting on, the reason I'm having you do this drill, it's gonna, super simple. Start like this, we'll start with our left hand, okay? You're gonna punch, and as you punch, if you're pivoting, this is gonna be our high punch here, okay? Vertical fist punch, just like you learn in your basic punch. So again, from our starting position here, you're pivoting and throwing your high punch, pretty much at your own head level. The next punch with your right hand is gonna be low. Low down here, the next punch, Again, now this time with your left hand, this is gonna to be towards the middle. So if you imagine the target being your, your opponent's solar plexus there, and again, you're pivoting. And the final punch here with your right hand, again, pivoting your stance and throwing a high punch here, okay? So once again, from here, high, low, medium, high. Just like that, pivoting with each one. High, low, medium, high. Why am I having you practice this? I want you to get comfortable throwing your straight punch at different levels here. So one thing that sometimes Wing Chun practitioners can get trapped into is always just focusing on punching at the head level. Um, it's not that that's not a good and useful attack, it's very important to be able to do that, but if you can only do this or you're only used to doing this attack, what ends up happening is you start to become super predict predictable for your opponent. Also, if they know that, you know, even after one minute of fighting with you, you're only thrown here, they're gonna see that all this is open as well, okay? So you wanna be versatile in the, in the attacks that you're doing. We're not doing hooks right now. All we're gonna be doing is a straight punch here. So only thing I want you focused on, staying relaxed when you're doing this, and as you throw your punch, I'm pivoting. So not just my, my shoulders here, my whole stance is pivoting, my feet are moving at the same time. So kind of pivoting on my whole foot, as I punch with my left, my toes are now pointing in this direction, okay? Then when I pivot here, I'm pivoting, pivoting, pivoting with each punch. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So as you can see, getting comfortable punching at different levels. Okay, when you've done that one, uh, you can go the next step to get comfortable punching on the other side. So same thing, it's just being able to punch high on the other side. So in that case, exactly the same, you're gonna start with your right hand going high, now this time left hand low, right hand middle, left hand high. So starts high, ends high. High, low, middle, high. It would look the same on both sides, okay? That's the punching part. That one, you can practice alongside me, do the same thing. The next part, okay? Very, very similar. To make it easy and straightforward, I'm gonna keep the same, same order. We're gonna use our elbows this time. So pivoting exactly the same way, okay? So this time you need a little bit of torque from your hips to make this work. We're gonna use our elbows here. As I use my left hand elbow, I'm going here, up to high. You're gonna see this hand comes up to guard in the Wu style as well, okay? So that's left high elbow. Right low elbow, left middle elbow, right high elbow. Okay, exactly the same order. So we'll go here, high, low, middle, high. Pivoting with each one, okay? Pivot and snap, pivot and snap. Then, the way to put this together so you're practicing on your own and you'll start to get comfortable at all those different levels, you do one and then the other. So high, low, middle, high, high, low middle, high. So we go from fist to elbows, okay? For you when you're practicing at home, you just do the same sequence on one side, then you get comfortable, you do the same sequence on the other side. So when you're doing a sequence here, high, low, middle, high, high, low, middle, high, then you start again on the left side, okay? High, two, three, four. You keep going through that sequence, then after you do this for several times, get comfortable with it, then you switch on the other side and you start with the right hand. So that'd be high, low, middle, high, 
starting elbow up here high, low, middle, high, switching back and forth. Then you're gonna get comfortable all those different levels, okay? The more you do that, the more you get comfortable and know you can instinctively start to place those where you wanna place them. You wanna hit here, here, it becomes comfortable. You don't have to think about it, okay? So that's if you're practicing on your own. If you're lucky enough to have someone, hopefully at this point, they see you've been following along lessons and they wanna help you out. Maybe you're learning with someone else, partner, child, whatever. They can help you do this training too. Also, this drill is also gonna be useful for them. So I'm asking Napoleon to come over, help demonstrate this is a two-person drill, okay? So in this case, I'd be doing exactly the same drill I was just doing, but he's gonna be the partner on this end, on the receiving end, kind of working on the blocking end of it. I have to receive these, these blows, then you can switch that around too, it becomes very versatile, okay? So for him, I'm gonna start the same side. We'll go back to the exact same drill I was teaching you. We go high, low, middle, high, okay? So he's just doing random motions because really good thing on this end, okay? Because my motions are set here, he now can mess around and practice doing, he's just doing basic ones for you to see, okay? If you're this person here, if you want to, you can be practice, you'll find out what works, what doesn't work. So it's super useful, okay? So if I'm punching again, high, whatever I throw at him, he does what he's comfortable, that's different. Different motions, but he's doing just what's comfortable, okay? Then if he wants to mess around, he can do different things, but I'm, he knows, sometimes it's good to have certain things, he knows I'm gonna do the same thing. So it's not alive in that sense, but he can start to practice being alive, because now he can start to practice different things, kind of like I'm like a wooden dummy, moving wooden dummy, okay? So I'm high, low, doesn't matter what he does, he can practice doing those things. Eventually, when he's more comfortable, if you're the partner, you can start to add attacks to it too, okay? This person, my job is just to practice the different level attacks. Then when I do that one, this one's more difficult to block. Just be careful, we're gonna maintain distance here. I'd be throwing the elbows, okay? So I start with my left elbow, high, low, middle, high. Same thing, elbows, high, low, middle, high. Again, he's throwing random defenses. Same techniques you learn in the other videos. He's using them now to defense. Now, more challenging for me, much more challenging for him at this point. We do exactly the same drill I was just teaching you. So you do it with fists and you do it with elbows. Makes it more versatile for me, makes it more, much more difficult for him because he has to react quickly to defense. So starting with the fists, high, low, middle, high, high, low, middle, high, okay? And then we keep repeating. And as we repeat, he can again keep working on more and more things to make him more versatile, okay? So this drill is super simple. Then after we do that one, we go, I would switch and do the right hand first, but it's exactly the same drill, okay? So when you're doing it to yourself, just save yourself. High, low, middle, high, it makes it very easy to remember. You start with the punches and then you go to the elbows, okay? Thank you, Napoleon. So you practice that one. Um, I hope you have someone to practice with. If you don't have someone to practice with, then you just focus on your fundamentals, okay? If you focus on pivoting, you can speed it up, you can get more comfortable, and so you can flow with this. The more you comfortable you get, the better. This seems really basic, actually really will help with your movement, help with your basic application of things, okay? If you're lucky enough to have someone to partner, then make sure you switch around. So someone gets a chance to punch, someone gets a chance to practice their techniques on the other end. Both are very, very useful, okay? One's not more useful than the other. One's a little more creative if you're doing the defending, the punching, you kind of have to be the wooden dummy person there. Um, but it's valuable to you, okay? Stay strong, keep training. We'll be back, I'm gonna keep working on basic techniques so you can build and practice those things that we've learned. Till next time, Devin Fan, Ada Mortals, Wing Chai.